we're going to have a look at the circumference and area of circles today. But before we do that, we're just going to get some terminology correct. So the first thing that we need in a circle is the center of the circle. And that's important because if we go from the center out to the edge of the circle, we have what is known as a radius. And then the other one that we need is if we go from one, cent one edge of the circle all the way to the other edge of the circle, through the center of the circle, has to be through the center, then what we have is the diameter. Now we just want to notice a few things about these. The first thing we want to notice is about the diameter. Now if you see here, the diameter goes from one edge to the other through the center, so quite clearly it's made up of one radius and then another radius. And so the diameter is just going to be two times the radius. A quick note about language. Uh, radius is the singular, and if we wanted to talk about more than one radius, right, we, we would think it would be radiuses, but actually the way we say it in the plural is radii, right? So radii. Okay, so here we go. We've got, I've drawn in one radius here. But all a radius is, is anything from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So there are many different radii that we can draw. For example, there's another one. It's a perfectly good radius. And there's another one. And there's another one. And there's another one. Those are all radii of the circle. And they are obviously all exactly the same length. So if, for example, we started off knowing that from here to here, was three centimeters, then this one's also three centimeters, this one is, this one is, and this one is. And the similar, uh, then if the, the radius was three centimeters, hopefully you immediately know that the diameter would just be six centimeters. So this here would be six centimeters because it's three centimeters and another three centimeters. And in the same story as for the um, radii, the diameter isn't unique, right? There could also be anywhere where you go from one side to the other through the center is a diameter. There are two other words we want to make sure we know. The first is area, and that's no different to normal. Area is just, right, the space that the circle occupies. And then of, there's this word circumference, which is a new word in the context of circles. And really, all circumference is, is just a special word for the perimeter. In circles, instead of saying perimeter, we talk about the circumference. So what do we mean? We mean that if we were a little ant and we walked all the way around the circle, how far would we walk? And that is our circumference of the circle. Now, an interesting thing that was discovered about circles a long, long time ago is the following. That for any circle, and it really doesn't matter what circle, if you go and you measure using a measuring tape or whatever the circumference, in other words, you go all the way around the edge and measure how long that is, and you divide it by the diameter, you are going to get an answer that is about 3,14. And what's really interesting is that this is going to be the same, doesn't matter what circle you're talking about. So even if you're in a small circle like this, if you measure all the way around and then you divide that by the diameter, you're also going to get the answer of 3.14. Same story if you're in a really big circle. You're going to take this measurement of the circumference all the way around the edge, and then you're going to divide it by the diameter, and you'll still get 3,14. So in every single case, and this is a very special thing about circles, that if you take the circumference and you divide it by the diameter, it always ends up being around 3.14. And there's a long and interesting history to this, but actually, if you get really, really accurate in working out the ratio of the circumference to the diameter, in other words, taking the circumference and dividing it by the diameter, you actually end up 
with a very funny number that goes on forever and ever. It's actually something like 3, 1415926542654 and it goes on. And that number is given a very special name, uh, which is pi, and it's written like that. And the word for that is pi. So, here's a special fact, right? If you take the circumference of any circle and you divide it by the diameter of that circle, you will get the answer pi. What is pi? It's a funny number that goes on forever and ever, where the decimals go on forever and ever. Uh, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 6, 5, etc., etc. Um, so it's a funny number that's just a little bit bigger than 3. Okay, so this special fact that the circumference divided by the diameter in any circle gives you the answer of pi. Remember, pi is just a number that's a little bit bigger than 3. Gives us a way of being able to work out the circumference of a, a, a circle if we know its radius or its diameter. So let's just use some abbreviations, some letters to show you this. Let's use uh, C to stand for the circumference. And we're going to use D to stand for the diameter. And so we can say that we know circumference divided by diameter is pi. And so this tells us that circumference is just equal to pi multiplied by the diameter. But remember that your diameter is just two lots of the radius, right? So you can say that the way to work out the circumference is to take pi and multiply it by two lots of the radius. And so writing that all very nicely mathematically is that 2 pi r gives you the circumference. In other words, 2 times pi times r gives you the circumference. So if we know what the radius is, we can work out the circumference. Those ancients who also figured out that the circumference over the diameter of any circle is always equal to pi also figured out a way of working out the area of the circle and they came up with this formula for that that the area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared so these two formulae are going to be the very important formulae that you need to know in order to work out the circumference or area of a circle. So the circumference is 2 times pi times r and the area pi times r squared. Remember r squared is just r times r. Let's do a quick example. Say I'm asked to calculate the circumference and the area of a circle which has a diameter of 20 centimeters. Well, that's easy. I'm going to go to my formulae. Circumference is 2 pi r. Area is pi r squared. In both of those, I need to know what r, the radius, is. Uh, but I've only been given the diameter. But that's not a problem because I know the radius is just half of the diameter. So if the diameter is 20 centimeters, the radius will just be half of that, which will be 10 centimeters. And then it's nice and simple. I just go to get my circumference. I go 2 pi r. I use that formula. So I say 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 10 centimeters. How will I work that out? Well, let me show you that on a calculator. What I'll have to do is I'll have to say 2, which is this button, multiplied by, now I want to multiply by pi. Can you see on my calculator, here is pi. So what I'm going to do, it's the yellow thing, right? So to get to the yellow thing, I need to use the shift. So I'm going to do shift and then this, and then I'm going to multiply by 10. So just to recap, I'll do 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 10. And then I'll get my answer there. And when I get my answer there, if I work it out on my calculator, it comes to about 62,83, rounding to two decimal places. For my area, I've got to do pi r squared. So I'm going to do pi multiplied by 
r is just 10 so it's 10 squared so it's going to be pi multiplied by 100. Again how will I do that on my calculator? Well I'm just going to say find I'm going to take my pi so to get pi remember pi is the yellow thing so I've got to go shift and then here to get the yellow and then I'm going to multiply by 100 and when I get my answer there if I round it to two decimal places, I'm going to get an answer of 3,1416 centimeters squared. If you don't have a scientific calculator, then you won't have a calculator which actually has a button for pi on it. But that doesn't mean you're stuck. You can, in fact, use the fact that we discussed earlier that pi is equal to about 3,14. And so if you don't have a calculator, you could just say your circumference is 2 multiplied by 3,14 multiplied by the radius, which is 10, and you'll get out your answer. If you do have a scientific calculator, rather use the pi button on that because you get a slightly more accurate answer. Okay, click, quickly try this one for yourself. I want you to work out the circumference and the area of a circle that has a radius of 4 centimeters. Pause the video and try it for yourself. Okay, so for your circumference, you say 2 times pi times r, and then you'll get, put that into your calculator in the same way we did, and you'll get 25,13 centimeters. And for your area, use your formula pi r squared. Your radius is 4, put that in the calculator in the same way, and you'll get the answer of 52, 50,27.